Ugh. I'm messing up tremendously. All right, so what you're looking at right now, it might be a little bit cricket. I don't know. This desk is lopsided. What you're looking at right now is the Canon SL2 with the 10 to 18 millimeter wide angle lens. So go ahead and push that in right there. If we do this, we do lose some low light performance. I don't know why I did that because it's no joke at all. It's not no no laughing matter we push this back out to 10 millimeter and we get the 4.5 aperture versus all the way zoomed in we get a 5.6 so this is what we're looking like and we have the ring light set to about barely on and if i go any lower it'll start flickering and we're trying to get this background looking a little bit more decent we got the lamp behind me and we got this nice cool stuff over here video down below for those bad boys and yeah this is what we're looking like this is on 800 iso with the ring light very dim because if i go too bright it's gonna wash out the background it's not gonna look good at all so i'm about to change this iso to show how it looks with different types of iso so this is 800 and this is what the camera wants to auto expose to it wants to auto expose to around 3200 that's very high. The higher you go, the more noise you can introduce. If you look off to the sides of the video in the background, you'll start to see more noise. And then we'll just go up from here. So this is 6,400 right now. This is 12,800. It doesn't go past that because I have it set to not. And then if we go down 3,200 once again, go over to 1,600 right now. This isn't too bad, it looks cool, but if we go down a little bit more, the colors start to get nicer. The situation as far as the noise gets nicer. And then if we drop down to 400, this is beautiful. This is very nice, I like this, but I'm getting a little too dark and you can't really see me that great. And then if we go on down 200, the colors is looking cool. The colors looking great, but what, what's going on with me? What's going on with me? And, and another thing is the autofocus will not work as great if it doesn't be able to, you know, see me how it's supposed to see me. And then this is 100. You really want to keep your camera on 100 if you can. So it doesn't add any noise. You're looking great. You're looking beautiful. As you can see, everything back there is looking nice. The lamp over here is looking cool, but you just can't see me, so can't do that so i think with this ring light being like this this is about the sweet spot so if i turn it a little bit more get rid of some of that wall mess over there behind where the neon lights are and then this is more or less the angle we get so it's kind of cool you got the blinds over there they're straight black but i think black is better because it's not so distracting if i had like a design on it I think it'll be too distracting and just for what, for what? I almost was like, dang, I could put them neon lights right here, but then you only see them in certain angles. From there, since they're the first neon lights I've ever had, I feel like it makes more sense to have them back there so it can be seen from the webcam and it can be seen from the camera if I put it right here. This is like to the left of my monitor the leg is like blocking like this much of the corner of the monitor. So it's not very ideal. I wouldn't want to do a tutorial like this because that's way too far away from where my laptop is. I'd have to put it on this screen. And then when I'm looking over, you know, it wouldn't be so much of a big change. But as far as the Logitech is concerned, this is what we're getting with the Logitech. So the Logitech default settings aren't that bad. But as you can see, I'm looking a little what in the world. And then if we come over to the actual camera control, low light compensation, that's off. If I turn that on, hit apply, it doesn't really make much of a difference. I don't, I don't see any difference. Let's take that off for a moment. Yeah, I don't see. And the exposure is on negative four. If I put it on auto exposure, this is what the Logitech wants to do. Like I look, I look visible, but it's just, too noisy in the back, the color's not looking right. So you really wanna turn that auto exposure off. And the thing about the Logitech camera is, if you lower the exposure, yeah, just like with the actual camera, it looks better. As far as the colors are concerned, this is about negative 10. 
and it's like, eh, this is negative 11 exposure. It's looking quite nice for the colors. Where am I yet? Nobody knows. But if we go back up a little bit, maybe like that's cool. Like you can see me, this is too dark. And it's, it's got that noise in the background you can see. So the darker you go, you start to get rid of the noise. Like there's not very much noise. There's not no noise. And then the light starts to look a little different. That bulb, certain colors on certain bulbs will look a little different. So so as you can see, it's starting to show lines and you don't wanna be showing no lines. That's That's not a good look. And then as far as boosting it up to around six, I mean, the noise is still visible, but at least you can see yourself. Like I can see me clearer, but it's like, come on now. Focus is set to off as far as autofocus. You really don't even want to mess with that because for what, for what reason? It is, don't bother with that. There's no zoom, there's no tilt, there's no none of that going on. The zoom will be digital, period, point blank. It's, it's just gonna be digital. Coming over to the brightness, we're on 128 by default. You can change this around. This is just adding a brightness filter. And then the contrast, we can drop that down. That's not gonna look good. And if we go up on the contrast, you're gonna start introducing a lot of noise. So you might just wanna keep it at 128 and just deal with that situation and just not have no nice saturation i'm trying to go up just a subtle notch but it's not letting me and you can't type in numbers all right finally got it back to 128 and then once you go to the actual saturation you can bump this up and as you see the colors get nicer but again i'm getting way too saturated and the noise so every time you mess with some of this stuff it just you know it's like come on now it gets a little too crazy and then the sharpness 128 you bump it up too high it's gonna look outrageous this is the max sharpness lower that down you're gonna get blurry so you just want to really keep it at least around the amount that it's supposed to be and then as far as all this other stuff like the white balance you don't want to have it on auto because with all these lights in the background it ain't gonna know what to do so you got to turn that off and just switch it around to where you like it to where you need it really just should be making sure you don't look too outrageous for the most part or you know as decent as you can look backlight comp you turn that on it's just gonna boost this like what is that like gain you mess with the gain too much that's zero gain bumping it up a little bit bumping it up a little bit the gain you know the gain helps clean up some of it you know it helps get rid of some of the actual graininess but you can still see it and that was all in the actual settings for the actual camera but if you open the logitech g hub app open that up and then mess around with those settings auto exposure once again it does the same thing so yeah this is it this is what you're looking like with the webcam this is the best i can get it to look like and it still is not touching the sl2 so two doing this thing no cap this has been a little test just to show what they look like separately together and all that situation side by side maybe probably not i might not even upload this i really just might use this for a reference for myself so i can see better because once i'm able to blow it up bigger crop in maybe zoom in you know i'll see what i would rather use and all honesty this wouldn't be bad for another camera angle like if you want to show from up top or over to the side the logitech would be cool just trying to do your regular youtube videos it's, it's just not gonna work out it's just not gonna give you the best quality you can't get so you might want to try to get you some situation where you can record this to obs get the so2 in obs then it'd be nice but you won't have autofocus because right now there's a white box around my face focusing on me and if i show that on the hdmi out that's, you can't use that it's not going to be some footage you can use if you turn it off you have to use manual focus. Manual focus is no joke. If you get too close or get too far, you're out of focus. You're not gonna be looking too great. So it is what it is. You gotta pick and choose your situation that you are willing to deal with. This clip right here is after the fact of me finishing this whole edit. It's all done, all the cuts, everything. I'm just simply showing what I changed around. I moved the neon lights just a tad bit. I put them bad boys inside of the Christmas tree and dangled it off the side of that raggedy shelf mesh that I'm using right there. 
need to tidy it up a little bit. I put the wax on the man painting that I have. I put that bad boy up right above where I used to have a different painting. No, it's not centered and you know all that, but I'm not really tripping on all that. Could get something else to hang up, could add another thing right there. You never know. I'm always changing this stuff around. Might not even keep the wax of the man right there, but to me, it's better than what I had it as. I had it over here and you couldn't even see it unless I put the camera this direction. So yeah, it defeats the purpose. But this is what we got right now. I can change the different colors with the Google Home or I can change it with the actual app, which is quicker and easier. I can click it, change the ivory, change it to daylight, cool light. Some of these really look about the same. Candlelight, got all sorts of different ones. Dark red, that's what that's supposed to be. This was supposed to be orange, and I don't really feel like it's orange. This one right here is supposed to be cornflower blue, whatever the heck that is, I have no clue no clue at all most rgb bulbs can't do a ton of different colors but they can do a couple they can do a few they can get the background looking a little different better than just nothing like if i just turn them bad boys off like i mean it's cool still i guess but it's just too much darkness you know sometimes you don't want it to be super dark now this is the actual end of the video see you in the next one peace